what's next? Well, Jim, that's exactly what we're doing. You know, we're moving forward. You know, definitely after dropping two in a row, you know, it, it is a tough deal. Uh, but our goal is to get back on track by heading down to Savannah, preparing well and uh, getting going that way. Uh, I love what we have in that locker room. Tons of leadership uh, in that locker room. I love the, you know, the resolve our guys have always had. This is adversity. We faced adversity in the face before, and I've uh, done a good job overcoming it. So we're looking forward to doing just that this weekend. Is the road sometimes a good thing when you know you had a couple bumps in the road, no pun intended, but to just you know bring it inward and just uh, have each other? I think the opportunity just to get back going again. Uh, is what's key, you know, getting back on the field and, and preparing, you know, because we just talked about our preparation, how it has to be so much better in order to put ourselves in a in position to win, you know, for that matter. You know, and I think ultimately, you know, when you get another chance to, to play, we have another chance, a ton of football to play left, get another chance to play and kind of redeem ourselves and, and get going uh, with, with another win and, and kind of move forward that way. What's your uh, scouting report on Savannah State? Uh, Savannah State, good football team. Uh, you know, we talk about all the time in terms of their, their, their record. They may have only have one win, but they've been in a ton of games. Ball hasn't you know, bounced their way uh, a ton. Uh, but at the same time, a good football team. Personnel-wise, uh, speaking offensively, first off, you know, they're, they're number one passing offense in our conference right now. Uh, Bostic puts it around, throws it around really, really well. Uh, the two receivers they have, and Hayward and, and, and Frazier, those guys do a great job in space. And, uh, you know, uh, uh, Hayward had a, had a pretty good game against us last time, so we're looking to, to limit his catches and, and his touches along the way as well. You know, defensively, a uh, very active bunch. Uh, they have two linebackers uh, who are in the top five in tackles in the conference. And, uh, you know, we've got to make sure that we get a hat on those guys and get those guys covered up in order to have our, some success offensively. Satisfied with progress made from the South Carolina State game to last week? Uh, not, not at all. You know, we, we have to do better. You know, in terms of that, uh, getting out and preparing better. We talked about uh, having a, a much better start, and we didn't start well. You know, and, and, and we have to start faster and start better. You know, penalties and turnovers plagued us throughout four quarters. You know, of that football game, and, and you certainly can't win. You don't give yourself a chance when you have per penalties like that and, and turnovers throughout the football game. How has practice been? I mean, you guys paying attention to detail during practice, and you be generally satisfied with that? I am. I am. We have to tune in uh, a little bit more because, again, some of the things that you do in practice, you will carry into a game. I'm a firm believer is that what you do in practice, you know, ultimately may, may, will come out in, in a football game. You know, but uh, our guys are working hard. You know, we're spirited. Uh, our leaders are certainly taking control. And, uh, but, and, and you can just hear our guys talking about what we have to do, all right, to, 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 make, to get things fixed and get corrections made. Uh, because we believe we were right there. We have an opportunity to be right there to, to, to really uh, get our offense going, uh, uh, exploding, and, and defensively continuing to get stops and just being more consistent. Those two words, again, consistency and finish uh, remain uh, as a part of, of what we're doing. And uh, we just got to tune into a little bit more as we go through practice and prepare for the week. Um, it's de it definitely was a tough loss last um, Saturday, but um, we definitely got to get a very positive mindset and just keep moving forward from here. So, What's practice been like in terms of attitude and kind of putting the past behind you and having a good attitude to, to get ready for and deal with what's on your plate this week? It worked. Um, today is Tuesday. Um, this will be our first day of practice. I'm eager to see um, how the team bounce back. It's, it's definitely easy to give up right now, but um, Coach keeps telling us that we have to press forward. Um, we definitely kind of dug, dug ourselves a hole, but um, we've got to be strong enough to pull ourselves out that hole. So um, we definitely got to just get better on the field and make plays. What specifically, what would you point to? You know, obviously, you're an offensive guy. The things where areas where you guys need to make improvements here? Um, I would say um, big. The big reason for the loss um, last week, um, we made a lot of penalties. Um, I, um, I think we had 15 penalties and four turnovers. So, I mean, in any football team, you have to eliminate that to have success in the game. What do you know? I mean, I know it's only Tuesday. Do you know much about the Savannah State team you're going to be playing? Say it again. Do you know much about Savannah State? What do you um, expect from them defensively? Um, defensively, they're more of a zone. They play, a, a, quite frankly, a lot a lot of things. Um, more predominantly cover three. So um, we're going to have to hit them in the uh, zone zone read zone read route. So. That's about it. You talked about a lot of penalties. Were, they bait, were you baited into those? Or at this point in the season, you would think that that maybe wouldn't be quite the issue that it appears to still be? Um, it's just, just concentration. Um, we had a lot of penalties, uh, offside penalties, um, 
just, just mental mistakes, just mental mistakes. And, we, and I feel like we eliminate those things, the, the outcome would definitely be different. Uh, much recollection have you, uh, in your mind of this uh, Savannah State have any kind of reputation? Just what, what, what thoughts go through your head when, when you see them next up? Um, they're one and seven right now. Um, you can't definitely take any any team lightly. Um, they're definitely looking for their. Um, I mean, they're on seven. They're looking for their first win. So, definitely, um, we just got to come out there with a good mindset. Um, let them know that any any team can get get beaten any day. So we just have to just press forward and just do what our coaches tell us to do to make plays. Is their homecoming? Yes, yeah, definitely their homecoming. Definitely their homecoming. Yeah, so, so is that is that insulting and offensive to you? Just, just that fact right there. <laughs> I kind of do play a little part on it, but um, I mean, it's just a ball game. And I feel like if we just make plays and stand the positions that our coaches put us in and do what they tell us to do, I think we have a good positive outcome. What are your team goals from this point until the end of the season? Team goals. Um, just staying positive, man. Like I said earlier, it's, it's definitely um, easy to give up right now, but um, we just have to keep pressing forward. Um, we plan for a winning season. We definitely plan for a winning season. Coach is obviously going to make sure you guys don't give up. But talk about the veteran leadership on the team. How important it is for guys to step up during practice and make sure that doesn't happen? It's definitely important to be a vocal leader. Um, I always tell my guys, man, what is your why? Why do you play this game? I always try to echo that. And, and I just feel like, man, if you have that why, I mean, no one can stop you. If you have that why, why do you wake up? Why do you go out there and grind and play every day? If you find that why, man, anything is possible.